Alright guys, this is Asian Gar with my review of the 1100 Master Grade Wing Zero Custom. Um, it is from the Wing Gundam series. The custom version is a redesign of the regular Wing Zero. And this appeared in the Gundam Wing OVA, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. It is piloted by Hiro Yui, one of my favorite Gundam characters. If not, he is my favorite Gundam character because he is so badass. Anyone who stands out of his mobile suit and blows it up when he's still somewhat near it, that's my phone, is pretty badass. Um, Wing Zero is part of uh, Operation Meteor, so while being the lead Gundam in the series, it's one of five, but it is the main lead Gundam. So, with that being said, it does have the the Gundam colors, blue, white, red, and yellow. It's predominantly blue, but uh, the positioning of the colors make it stand out and feel very, uh, you know, not not thrown out, but it's still it's still there. Um, clear parts are the chest, the eyes, and the top forehead camera. This forehead camera is attached to the V-fin and my phone again and there are clear parts that go into his forearm armor um not i did not put them in because i did not color them yet the most distinct part about this mobile suit is its wings and yes it does have wings amazing beautiful wings now hence that's why they call it wing gun now whether or not you think it's weird or too over the top I love it in my opinion it is the best Gundam design to me my favorite Gundam design ever when I was watching Endless Waltz and I saw Hiro Yui pop out that shuttle and Wing Zero's wings just spread out I fell in love with it um, that being said this Gundam is a little bit shorter than the normal Gundam. It is 16 meters, as is all the Wing Gundam Gundams. And here is a size comparison with the Master Grade RX-78. Of course, its legs are spread out, so you can't really. So there you go. It comes just above the shoulder. I forgot to mention, um, this comes with stickers for the eyes and all the clear parts and decals. All right. As for articulation, I want to mention first that this kit comes or came out in 2004, so the articulation isn't going to be all isn't going to be caught up to you know today's kits, but it's still pretty good. And for the size of the kit back then, it's it is um, it does have really good articulation in my opinion. Um, one thing I want to note that with the wings on the back, these wings are extremely long. From the high grade counterpart, I think these wings are like up to here maybe, but these wings are really long so you can stand it like this and have the wings just touch the ground and it'll be fine. Like right there. Okay. So from the head down, the head goes up and up up about that far, which is pretty high up. And I guess it's to mimic the pose from the box art. I'll go that far down, which is pretty good. Do the chicken movement. Um the shoulder armor is separate from the arms, which can go up and down that far and wiggle a bit. The arms can go 360. Wings, I'll mention the wings later. Rotate below the shoulder. Bend at two points. The bicep and the forearm for a somewhat close 90 close to 90 the armor gets in the way but oh well 
wrist is on a ball joint, so it does go all the way around and rotates. Blocking the camera. Ah, no. <laughs> it has the uh, traditional master grade hands, ball joint thumb, and the index is separate from these three. They're on a hinge. That fell off. But one thing you do notice, it doesn't have a peg on its hand, which makes holding some weapons hard, especially the beam rifles. Alright, um, they do go forward. Arms goes, they go forward that far. They don't go back. Not a lot, if any, they really don't. The as a ball joint on the, on the abdomen and on the hip, so it can go all the way around, plus it can go down and up. So it can go really, you know, you could look high, or look up really high, is what I meant to say. The skirts, front skirts are separate. You go that high up. The side skirts, oh yeah, by the way, the arm goes out about 90. Uh, the side skirts rotate, not 360, but they, and when you hit the back, it goes back that far. And they do extend out to the side that far. The back skirts are one main piece, and they just don't move all that much. The legs are pretty amazing. They go, they bend full 90, and yes, this does come out, which looks, in my opinion, looks sexy. I mean, bam. The feet, oh, it starts with the ankles. The ankles, there's a ball joint top of the ankle and bottom of the ankle. So you can go side to side, wiggle around, and then this part goes side to side to side a bit. And the foot guard goes up and down. The feet poke all the way down like that, so when it's doing its shooting pose. Feet point straight down. All right. The wings, being as big as they are, are pretty articulated. Um, you have a hinge here and a hinge up here, so they go out like out about that far, about that far. They go forwards and back, forwards all the way back until they hit the other back wings. They rotate up here, full 360. Rotate over here, a full 360. Can't talk today. And these feathers, these three feathers, I mean all these feathers are attached via ball joint and they're made out of rubber. They kinda have difficulty staying on but I just display my models. I don't really like play with them, so it's really no big deal for me. Uh, these three are all connected, and they do fold out. See, <laughs> for something I will show you later. Um, what's awesome about the Master Grade is that while the Perfect Grade was really good, the Master Grade when you fold out it's when you spread out its wings these top these top two spread out as well so so when I get this back on when you get that you get this which looks so cool something just fell off again <laughs> It's also been a while since I've had built this kit, so some pieces are loose, uh, especially my wings. 
uh, yours won't be as loose when you get it. Also, I'm going to paint mine, so that's going to tighten up the joints also. Let's move these forward. Now, these back wings are hinge here. Let me go side to side. A hinge here. That. Let's go up about that far. And these can open up like so. And this is connected via backpack, which rotates. Alright. And last but not least, if I can get this, the cockpit slides out, showing you a Hero UE. Alright. The wings do become bothersome when you're trying to, like, do a review because they are pretty, pretty large. Let me tilt it that way better.